What's up guys, I'm James, and welcome back to the Great Gambino Watch Reviews. Today, we are taking a look at a micro brand that caught my attention a while back, and I've finally purchased one for my personal collection, and that is the Brewmetric with Retro Dial. Looking at the package presentation, you will receive it in this white outer box that has an illustration on the top showing the specific model. The front is labeled Metro Chronograph, retro-inspired timepieces from the past. The left side shows the company's logo, which is a coffee bean because the line is designed to celebrate and capture enjoyable coffee experiences as stated on their website. The back shows a diagram of the crown and the right is branded with the brew watch company name. Opening up the box you will find a booklet that covers information about the piece and the founder's vision. The warranty information will be on the back page. We are also provided with a black and yellow microfiber cleaning cloth. Inside of the top lid has meaningful text adding to the presentation. If we remove the inner box, you can see the bottom has a really cool wave pattern design that creates the illusion of an uneven surface. It is actually flat to the touch. There is also more illustration of the case along the back side. Removing the cardboard sleeve exposes the inner box. Brew is labeled on the top and it has an almost rubber-like feel to the touch. Taking a look inside, we see this extremely unique retro piece with its wild yet fun colorway. I fell in love with this design immediately because I found it cool and unlike anything else I have ever seen. Jonathan Ferrer started Brew Watches in 2015 after going to school for industrial design and interning at Movado. His goal was to design an affordable watch that had a unique story and was built well. Many of the designs were inspired by the cafe experience and industrial espresso machines were used as a reference. This particular metric model retails for $425 and sells out on the website extremely fast. Brew did just release a newer version of the metric in a steel colorway, and they have other really interesting pieces like the 8-bit brew based on retro gaming. I will have a link down below if you would like to check out the watches that they have. Real quick, I'll give you the measurements. We have a case width of 36 millimeters. Lug to lug is 42 millimeters. The inner link that connects to the case is 19.25 millimeters, with the outer edge of the solid end link that meets the case measuring 26 millimeters. And we have a case thickness of 11 millimeters. The crown is stamped with a coffee bean logo, and turning just a little shows off that unique vented design. The glass is a flat piece of sapphire crystal. I could not find anywhere if there's an AR coating, but it is very easy to read and overall seems to be quality sapphire. The square-shaped stainless steel case is very well done. It has a vertical brush pattern on the top facing the bracelet and high-polished chamfered edges above and below the brush center flank. This breaks things up and makes the watch wear visually thinner than it already is. Flipping it over, the back side is embossed with a stripe design that features the company logo in the center. We also have some text information about the piece, including that it has 50 meters of water resistance. Getting close in on the dial, the chapter ring, handset, and 60 minute subdial have those very funky fun colors with most of the chapter ring being in mint green and a little bit of yellow that ties it in with the hour and minute hand. The chrono hand is orange which matches nicely with the indicators on the 60 minute subdial timer on the left. It is all very 70s inspired. By the 3 o'clock you will notice that there is a brew coffee bean logo that looks to be stamped. The date window is on an angle placed closest to the 5 o'clock indice. With this window the background is in black with the numbers in white making it flow more consistently with the rest of the dial. Toward the bottom of the dial above the 6 is where you will find the running second hand, and the entire dial is surrounded by a mere finish border that creates excellent light reflection. Powering this piece is the Seiko VK68 Mecha Quartz. It has a 3 year battery life and an accuracy of plus or minus 20 seconds a month. The Mecha Quartz is a hybrid movement, meaning you will have quartz technology for the main functions and a mechanical module for running the chronograph. Let's go ahead and check the chronograph out. When using this feature to time your espressos, you will simply press the top pusher and watch the orange chrono hand run around the green chapter ring. The ideal time for an espresso pull is marked by the bottom yellow section between the 5 o'clock and the 7 o'clock indices. To stop and reset the chrono hand, first press the top pusher to stop, followed by the bottom one to reset. If you want to time anything else, the left subdial does run up to one full hour. The bracelet appears to be integrated, but as we gave the measurements earlier, it is not. The top brushing looks excellent, and it has an extreme taper from 26 to 16 millimeters by the bottom of the bracelet. It is definitely eye-catching on the wrist due to the high-polished trim of the chamfered edging on each link. The sides are brushed, and we have split pins to release links. I personally had to remove four links to get the perfect fit. I'm a big fan of this class. I feel it has a luxury look as it seamlessly continues the brushing and edging of the case and bracelet. There are four micro adjustment slots and another stamped logo in the center. You can just see how beautiful the light reflects off of it in this shot. And we have a double push button to release the clasp and show off the milled parts. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the loom. 
Blue BGW9 Superluminova has been applied to the hands and the indices. In this footage, I have sped up 10 minutes to test out the strength. And here's a side-by-side -side shot next to an American Quarter to give you a better representation of the scale. And here's a shot on my 6.75 inch wrist. The fit is absolutely perfect. Keep in mind, most of these watches look slightly smaller than they appear on camera, but with that extreme taper, it's going to be a pretty universal piece. And I have to say so far, I am really enjoying it. The retro look, unique bracelet, and odd fun color design make this piece stand out in my collection, which I tend to normally lean towards divers. But let's go ahead and take a look at the outdoor shots so I can show you that natural light reflection. All right, that's going to wrap up this review of the Brewmetric Retro. I have plenty more reviews in the works, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button to be notified when I upload. Thank you for your time, and I will see you in the next one.